Hello everyone. I'm here to show you a cute, really sweet little paperweight that we're going to make today. Um, it's going to be, I'm just going to make one. So I'm going to just start this. I've got some resin already made up in, um, uh, with some Let's Resin mica powders. And it's just kind of a bluish green that I've got. I'm using my Diamond Fusion Naked Clarity for my resin today. Put some in there. Okay, and I'm going to wait for this to I'm gonna wait for this to cure just a little bit, not all the way. just a little bit of some blue to this. Um, let's see here. This blue, this blue. It's just regular dye. I add a little bit of white with it. Just kind of swirl it together a bit here. Okay, I'm going to give this just a little bit of time for it to um, set up just a bit before we add our next step. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it's not all the way cured. As you can see, it's soft enough for me to place in my little um, ducks. And they're just little, little plastic ducks that look like this. And these came on from Amazon. And then I just placed a couple of my little lily pad stickers in there. And so anyway, when this cures, I will go ahead and fill it up. I'll clean up the sides there, and then we'll fill it up with clear. And it's going to be an adorable paperweight. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, everyone. Okay, our little ducks are cured and I'm getting ready to come in and pour the clear resin over the top. I'm going to bring this in so you can see how they cured to our water. There is our little lily pad stickers and they're all got our three little ducks in a row, to say the least. Anyway, they turned out pretty well. I cleaned up the sides of my mold here pretty much because I don't want there to be big blue blobs or any other color blobs on the um, on this top part of the resin. Okay, we want it to be as clear and as clean as possible. So, I am going to get my resin ready here. I'm gonna just pour a bit into this cup. And I really don't want bubbles in this top part of my resin. So I am working with my um, my um, diamond clarity and it's pretty warm so as you can see it's pretty clear there's not a whole lot of bubble in there I'm gonna pour this really slowly in here I want there to be no bubbles underneath my little duck heads so I'm gonna go around each one of their little faces kind of slowly there We don't have to go all the way to the top of this mold. This is a soap mold, um, an oval soap soap mold. I, but I definitely do want all my little duck heads covered. I'm gonna say to maybe about there. Okay, um, I'm gonna run this back over with the heat gun here in just a couple minutes. Probably give it maybe, I don't know, two or three minutes, let some of the bubbles rise to the top, and then I'm going to go over it with my heat gun. Make sure that there's no um, little places here around the edge where bubbles might uh, 
crew because we don't want it to be rough here. Since this is going to be the top of our paperweight, I will probably come in and dome the top of it after we're all done with this part, you know, after we demold it. Okay? Okay, there it is. And I will see you back for demolding probably tomorrow. Thanks for joining me tonight. Hello everyone. So our little duck paperweight is all the way cured. So we're gonna go ahead and demold it. I'm so excited to see how this turned out. It is so cute. We're looking at the top, so there's no surprise there, but it turned out so cute. I'm gonna probably come in and dome the top of it. But do you see them inside there? Whoops, <laughs> how cute did they turn out? So cute, so cute. I think they're just adorable. And um, I'm gonna probably let this sit overnight. And then I'm going to uh, just put a quick dome over the top. And then I'll come back and show you the finished product. Anyway, thanks everybody. I hope you liked it. Turned out super cute. See you next time.